Where did Team Trucker Travel go today? Stick around, you don't want to miss this. So we're going through Virginia. We just delivered our load and we were trying to decide our next plans because this is 4th of July weekend. 4th of July is tomorrow. And so we were basically told by dispatch to kind of go find a place to, you know, hang out for the weekend because places are going to be closed even through Monday because a lot of places um, let their employees be off for the 4th of July. So of course, there probably wasn't gonna be any loads for us. So at that point, we um, were like, hey, let's go find something to do. So we have some good friends that are in Chattanooga. So we reached out to them and the idea was to go um, meet up with them. We were going to go to lunch. We were going to probably go to church with them tomorrow. And then they were going to have some like fireworks in the evening, of course. Um, and then like hang out and play games and stuff during the day. Um, and then we could stay with them until, you know, Monday or Tuesday. We've stayed with them before. out with good friends but what happens when a trucker makes plans versus when they don't make plans and they just decide to you know um, sit at a truck stop well in our case and I'm sure in a lot of other people's case when we go to make plans um, we'll make the plans and then oh you got a load now had we just decided to stay in Virginia versus go to Chattanooga which by the way Chattanooga is a better market in terms of what we do there's um, more opportunities for loads and stuff so we were like okay we'll go to we'll go to Chattanooga and then we go I don't know how many minutes not very far and my husband's like hey is there anything you want to see on the way you know at this point we haven't got a load so I'm um, looking trying to see if there's anything historical I want to see or maybe a cool um, a cool park we can go walking or you know anything right because I find something usually everywhere we go you just have to look sometimes it's on you know the maps sometimes you just stumble upon it it's not even on the map so I was like okay I want to go maybe tour a farm 
or um, it's a Saturday, so why not look for farmer's market? So that's what I did. I found a farmer's market that is in this little cute town. Alright, so this is the fountain I saw a minute ago. And here is the Barter Theater, which is the State Theater of Virginia, evidently. There's some really cute things set up for photo ops. And it's just a, a peaceful little town right here you got a gazebo over here some benches this is somewhere that you can just walk around and you get these last two and then I'm gonna head back And I'm going to tell you the story of what happened. Okay, so check this out. We make plans with our friends. We're going to stop by this farmer's market. And we literally are about to park. There's some, you know, street parking right here. As we're going to park, we get a call from dispatch telling us that the last load offer that we had got was a go. And it's like... That's fine. That's the intent of why we're out here. We're out here to make money and, you know, ultimately. And the way I look at it is whatever we get to do in addition is bonus. Anywhere we get to go, what we get to see and check out is just something that we're doing, you know, as something extra while we're out here. So... There's not, you know, necessarily, you know, any, oh, that's really cool. Yeah, I mean, there's not really anything that we have to see while we're out here. You know, sometimes we'll decide to check something out while we're here. And then if, if it falls through because we end up um, getting a load, you know, sometimes there's a little bit of disappointment, like, oh, we were going to go check it out, but, you know, it fell through. But, it's not the end of the world. I mean, you know, technically, anything we get to see in addition to doing our loads is a blessing. This is really cute, the way they have all this. Got all kinds of benches and... Here's the municipal building. I just love the hometown feel you got right here. So, it's not on my way. 
like I said, you know, anything we get to see is nice. Oh, like this. This is something that, wow. Okay, so this is, this is a time capsule and it was sealed in 1978 and it's to be opened in 2078. Wow. That is really neat. I've actually seen several of these um, around the country. I think one was actually an apple. There was another one that I haven't quite got to see because we've gotten sort of close to it, but never far, you know, far enough where we're going to be like, hey, it's not really going out of the way. You know, we've we've gotten really close, but then I'm not going to justify going out of the way for something like that because you can't actually see what's in it. It's sealed. It's not um, ready to be opened yet. So about to head back, meet my husband, but I just wanted to show you this. This is really cute. Got this cute little garden here. And they got a picnic table. There's actually even an umbrella. And then there's like a bench right here. And I'm sure this is actually probably where somebody um, has like a pickup maybe for like school buses. I'll go ahead and meet him over here at this intersection and then we're gonna go to the farmer's market which is what I originally wanted to do but uh, like I said we saw a couple nice ladies that told us about this historical little aspect of the town so that was a nice bonus sometimes we'll also just happen to go see one thing um, in little towns like this and then we'll just happen to see one more sign right right nearby and then we kind of go from stop to stop and just walk around for several blocks. So anytime we get out of the truck, that's a bonus. Walter, I'm with uh, Nature's Edge Farm, and we're here talking about microgreens. The reason I'm doing microgreens, the nutrition level is through the roof compared to the regular version of the, the vegetable. Take a look down here, you got all different kinds of them. We're just cutting them as we're going, snipping it and putting it in your soup, your salad, your scrambled eggs, what have you. Not only do we sell them live, but we have kits over here for people to want to grow their own. We've done a workshop for Damascus Middle School. We got adults buying them for themselves. We have a trucker now interested in growing them on the road. That is so cool. I met a lady the other day who's actually growing them in her RV. You just can't beat the, the speed, the flavor, the nutrition. And uh, the lady doing the filming here will have my contact info. If you have questions, you want to get a kit or anything like that, I'll be glad to help you out point you in the right direction. Thank you.
right, so I want to show you a few of the things that we got at the farmer's market. I have never tried kimchi, so I asked them if I could try a sample of it because I want to start doing my own fermenting, but I wanted to see if I liked it before I got it. So they opened up a jar and let me try it, and I was worried it was going to be too spicy, but it was actually really good. So we got a jar of this, and then now I can actually buy some cabbage and use our fermenting jar, and eventually when we get back on the farm, I can grow our own cabbage and make this. So I'm gonna try and save a little bit of this for the boys when we get home, but it may not make it because, mm -hmm. you know. But this, he said you can keep it in your fridge, you know, even up to a month, and it's not gonna go bad in your fridge. We have a fridge in our truck. So that's the first thing we got. Another thing we got is we stopped by this table where they were selling uh, microgreens, and we wanted to learn more about that because we are in the truck, and we can't um, have access to our garden at home so we wanted to have something we could grow in the truck and that doesn't take very long. So we got this kit. This one has pea shoots and with the pea shoots, you're able to cut them and then they will grow a second time. So you're able to get two for one with this one. And it actually has the containers in here and the soil, the seeds, everything you need. And so we're gonna start with that. And while we were over there, he actually um, gave us two ears of corn that somebody had uh, brought to the table. He bought from them. And he had a couple extra, and so he was like, here, y'all y'all go ahead and have this. And so Mic another- Microwavable corn at that. Yeah, the kit we got, it actually had two boxes. So I believe the other box is gonna be, what, broccoli, right? Yeah, broccoli was one, and peas. Yeah, so this is another one, and it's broccoli. And then you also get, this one right here is pea shoots. And then this one is broccoli. So those are the refills. Yeah. So we're gonna we're gonna show you some videos of how that goes with us growing it, and show you how you can actually have fresh vegetables and everything while you're on the road. And it doesn't take up much space. You just need to have a little grow light in there. Um, another thing we haven't done on our farm is we have not had sheep yet, and so I want to try lamb. Make sure I like it. So my husband's gonna cook these up for us. We got on the George Foreman. We got some lamb sirloin and some lamb chops. And they were what, like 17 or? Uh, one was 17.99 and one was 19.99 a pound. So. so these are just under a pound. So we're gonna try that. At a and restaurant, then, that would be like $100 worth of meat. And then we went to this table and uh, of course, anywhere we go, he has to get kettle corn. So that's, we got one that's my so that I can tonight. actually get some. It was a uh, four for 20. And these are actually really good. We tried the sample of these. These are like vegan bacon. And I'm not much on like bacon bits and stuff, but I try these and these are really good. And these are what, just barbecue? Barbecue pork rinds, yeah. Barbecue pork rinds. Okay, so we also got the Upgrade My Kit, and this is arugula and kale. And so this is something that actually has the containers in it as well, but it's just another um, addition to the, to the first kit that we got. That way we can have arugula, kale, broccoli, and pea shoots. So that's four vegetables that we're gonna be able to have on the road. And tonight, with our lamb, we're gonna have some squash. We have uh, multiple ways we can cook it. We have our convection ovens if we want. We can put it in the oven, or we can put it in our skillet. Um, I'm gonna let him cook. He's actually gonna cook tonight, so I'm gonna see how he wants to cook it. And um, we also got some cucumbers, and they were $2 a pound. So this was uh, $6 for some fresh cucumbers. Now, if I had my fermenting jar, then I would be able to make some pickles, but we'll probably just eat these just as regular cucumbers with our salad. Those and will so, be good to survive the weekend. Yes, <laughs> and so I like that we were able to get fresh vegetables here instead of just getting something from the grocery store. We kind of got to meet some local people. We found a great farmer's market. You can see it's in the distance behind us. That um, when we come back to this area, um, how do you say the name of the town? Abingdon. Abingdon. Okay, so Abington, Virginia. So when we come back here, um, if, if it's on a Saturday or a Tuesday, right? We will have to go back to the farmer's market. And we met some, some great people here today and uh, can't wait to come back. Thanks for watching. So you don't miss the journey of Team Trucker Travels, pound that thumbs up button, click subscribe, and turn on the bell notifications. See y'all soon.